excuse me hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another chaotic baking video featuring peach because she doesn't want to leave mommy alone she wants to get into everything that mommy has on the counters okay anyway i mentioned i was going to be doing this video in my 300k q a this was going to be my 300k celebration video but my supplies did not arrive on time so we're doing it now and the supplies that i was indeed waiting for were these animal crossing cookie cutters we have a little leaf we have a diy thingy we have a fossil we have a bell bag and we also have a gyroid i got henry I got a bell coin and I got Rosie. These are 3D printed. I will link the Etsy shop that I got them from. They're still a little wet from the dishwasher. So that's gonna be pretty exciting. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make one of each cookie, but we're also gonna be getting really fancy with it. Cause I also got these edible markers from Amazon to do like the little details and stuff like that. Honestly, the baking part is like the part that we're kind of gonna, you know, gloss over a little bit. I wanna get to the decorating cause that's gonna be the most chaotic portion. <laughs> I have a little pushing apron that I got from my pushing subscription box. Love it so much. Makes me feel so fancy. And my cats are going crazy right now. Can you guys chill out please? <laughs> trying to do something okay apron is on let's get started with the dough i'm using the recipe that came with the cookie cutters they have a recipe on their website so i'll also link that for you if you want it seems pretty simple we just need butter sugar eggs flour cornstarch salt vanilla and mix it all together and all that i've never made cookies of this caliber before um i'm more of a you know pre-made dough you know kind of roll it into a ball pop it in the oven type of person i've got my I've got my fuel, so I think I think we'll manage today. So the first step is to preheat the oven to 350, no, 375 degrees, so let's go do that. Please do not comment on how gross my oven is, thank you. Okay, there we go. And then the second step is to cream the butter and sugar just until smooth and combined. So let's do that. We need two sticks of chilled butter and one cup of sugar. I have my little sticks of butter. Oh, I only have one. Okay, I have a scoopy, scoopable butter. I guess we'll just have to measure this. So since I need two sticks, technically, we're gonna see how much the first stick weighs. 111 grams and then now to double that I just have to scoop 111 grams of this butter the, the color difference is very interesting. Okay, but anyway next we need a cup of sugar That'll just go straight in. Mm -mm -mm. That's what makes these cookies so delicious Okay, the stick of butter is not cooperating. The spreadable butter is because it's soft, but the stick of butter is just like staying a stick because it's super cold. <laughs> I'm gonna chop it up. Maybe I should have chopped it up. Okay, there we go. I think that this is sufficient, I hope. So let's do the eggs. Put these bad boys, put these bad boys in here. Egg number two. Let's just do two half teaspoons. There's one, and here is two. Set to mix until just combined. I'm just gonna mix it until it looks good. It's looking pretty yellow. Not gonna lie, it's looking very yellow. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, this does not look the best. But I'm hoping that this is still good. Here is the first cup of flour. I'm scared. I'm scared it's not gonna be able to hold it on. This is like a huge mistake. And four. Oh no. And there's also flour all over my sleeve. I don't know why I wore black long sleeves. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, three fourths of a cup of cornstarch. Okay, there's a half cup. Uh, okay, there we go. And then it needs four more tablespoons. So I have a two tablespoon measure. 
So I just need to do two of these conveniently. One and two. And then we need three fourths of a teaspoon of salt. So I have a one fourth. So let's do three of these bad boys. One, that was a very generous fourth. Two and three. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna use a fork to very carefully combine all of this and just spill it all over the counter. Yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a mess. It's fine. I kind of expected it. But it says add in the dry mix at like a medium low speed and just kind of like, I don't know, mix it in with the mixer and it's gonna look sandy, but it's okay. Since this is overflowing, I'm not gonna like pour it in. I'm just gonna like scoop it with the, with the cup. So let's just... Let's pray. Let's pray for the best here. <laughs> Let's roll up these sleeves and just just get to it, I guess. I mean, honestly, the consistency of this so far seems pretty good. So I think we will be okay as soon as I just like need it a bit more. Okay, I think this is a good consistency. It's all like in one little ball. Piece number one, and let's put our dough, sir, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Actually, maybe I should just do like half. I feel like this is too much. Let's not, you know, make it more difficult than it has to be. Now let's get our second piece. And now we have our handy dandy rolling pin and we're just gonna try our best. And there's catnip all over this, nice. How do you like get started? I don't know, I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> This just wants to slide everywhere. How do you, how do you roll stuff? Okay, okay. Stay in place. It doesn't want to. I'm gonna put my elbows on it. No, then I can't get, <laughs> then I can't get like a grip. Okay, this kind of works. If I do it this way. Okay, okay now, Let's cut them. I want to do the little leaf first. I'm just gonna go for it. Uh, push. Okay. Um, yeah, this dough definitely isn't even. <laughs> this can fit in right here, kind of like that. Let's do, we could do like the fossil here. And does the bell fit right here? Yeah, we can do like this kind of like configuration. Okay, now I'm gonna peel all of this and hope <laughs> that this will, uh, you know, work. Okay, I picked it up. Ooh, it looks so cute. I think it's good now. I think we're good now. There we go. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> okay, you're fine, you're fine. Oh, look at you. Oh, nice, it just, <laughs> Okay, I should have done that. No! Just just kind of mush it back together a little bit. Kind of fix this. Whatever, it's good. There we go. Oh my goodness, she came out so perfect. Okay, next up is Lloyd. Oh, he came out so good. Okay, here's how the babies came out. Um, uh, Rosie has suffered a head injury, but she'll be fine. The fossil, I don't know how it's holding itself together. The rest are pretty okay. Um, and then we have these two over here because they couldn't fit. Henry did suffer a little eye injury. I tried to do surgery. Um, hopefully that holds up. <laughs> and this one actually was my best one. I think it's because it's the most simple shape, but yeah. There, there they are. So I'm gonna stick them in the fridge for like half an hour and then we will put them to bake. 
Okay, these have been chilling for like a half an hour, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and we're gonna put them in the oven. Literally straight into the oven you go. And here's the other one. So here's how they came out. They came out pretty good, pretty solid. But yeah, we're gonna get to decorating. The leaf is pretty much dry, so now I'm gonna try to put on the little details with the marker. Just kidding, it's not it's not dry. No, 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 no. It makes it more dramatic. Yep, okay, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Here is my leaf cookie. This is gonna be the best one of the whole batch, I'm telling you. Oh no, this is not, this is not turning out good. No, <laughs> This is so bad. Oh my god, Henry, I'm sorry. This is terrifying. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe it'll get better. Who knows? A little pepper. This isn't for you. I'm trying to decorate cookies. Sir, stop, pepper. Oh no. I don't know how I'm gonna do the little details with this. I already cut it super wide. Let's just hope for the best. No, a little bit of green got into his eyeball. No, Henry. This is so cursed. This is so cursed. I don't have yellow, so I'm gonna color the yellow parts of his face white and see if I can just use the, the Yellow pen, maybe? This is so bad. This is so bad. I don't have orange cookie icing, but I have orange gel. So this is gonna have to work. This is horrifying. <laughs> no, why is this so bad? Now Henry is yellow, but at what cost? <laughs> so yeah, like I said, I don't have yellow icing. So I'm gonna try to just color this one with the markers. It's not gonna be as cool, but I, honestly, I'm also getting kind of lazy. <laughs> The markers might be the way to go. This came out so good. This one came out so good. This one is way better than the actual frosted ones. Oh my goodness. Yeah, okay, it might be a little bit cheating with the markers, but I think I'm gonna go with the markers for the more complicated designs. <laughs> Let's do Rosie. I need redemption with the villager faces. Now she did get a little bit um, deformed. <laughs> she had this brain injury right here and I tried to fix her, but I kind of just messed her up. Now Rosie's kind of like a purple blue, so I don't know, I don't know what color to do because purple doesn't really match. I guess the blue matches more. I guess she is kind of more blue. This, these are the only two options I've got, so. So, I mean, like the effort's there. It's just, I, I think it's that I didn't have the right colors. 
and these don't blend at all so i couldn't get her little like the tips of her ears are like white um so she's kind of like a blueberry but i think the details the details came out much better than like henry i'm so dumb i did have orange i literally could have used this for henry's cheeks i don't know why i didn't i guess i was only thinking about frosting This one came out so good. The markers win again. Look at that, it's exactly like the picture. This one's not bad. I got, the fr you know, the frosting, it's hard to work with. Okay, so cut me some slack. We just won't talk about the blue. Okay, here we go. The bell is finished and hopefully the brown looks like a little shadow. I think that's what it's supposed to be, like a little shadow. Um, I color it with the brown marker. <laughs> Hopefully it kind of like gives the illusion. Kind of forgot some space in here. You know what? <laughs> this doesn't look right. <laughs> so um, this did not turn out correct. I'm gonna consider this my biggest failure. Honestly, I'm gonna leave this one out. I didn't have like this light brown that he actually is. All I had was dark brown and yeah <laughs> goodbye i'm gonna just eat that one <laughs>came out amazing honestly like actually way better than i thought <laughs> i thought they were gonna be like actually disastrous but they actually came out okay okay so now the question is which one do i eat i think i think henry has to go <laughs> There's just no thought behind his eyes whatsoever. Hi, Pepper. Hi. Oh my God. <laughs> Pepper wants to taste, you want to taste those cookies? Well, oh, you can't, I'm sorry. They're not for you. It's time. Bon appetit. Let's see. <laughs> it's just so bad, okay. Let me just say, they look better than they taste. <laughs> the frosting surprisingly does not add like that much sweetness, which kind of sucks. That's gonna be for today's video. <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was fun. This was fun for me. Decorating them was actually like really therapeutic. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope you have a great holiday season. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.